Since 1918, the Fort Knox Military Reservation has served as an important and an integral training component for active duty and reserve army troops. At the Wilcox Digital Multipurpose Training Range, or DMPTR, at Fort Knox, Kentucky, that tradition proudly continues. Situated in a valley of the Appalachian Mountain Range, there are two course lanes, each four kilometers long with six defensive battle positions each for a total of 12 battle positions. Distance to the furthest target from the baseline is 5,720 meters. The Wilcox Range occupies over 1,400 acres and can accommodate many types of forces, mounted, dismounted, airborne, air assault, and Joint Forces Special Operations Live Fire Exercises. Usage includes Tank and Bradley gunnery tables for individual crew qualifications, helicopter door gunnery, and convoy live fire of all types. Constructed in 2004, this state-of-the-art range provides critical immediate feedback during live fire training. The digital video recorded along with the targetry information is directly fed into each unit's AAR for their immediate review upon return to the Operations Control Center. This timely turnaround is essential for each soldier's training and lessons learned. There are 59 stationary armor targets in 57 positions, 2 are doubles and 14 are on heavy lifters. Also, there are six moving armor targets, of which three are evasive by traveling on S-shaped tracks. 149 stationary infantry targets pop up in 23 different groups or clusters, and seven of them are moving. All of the targets have thermal blankets and are controlled and monitored by the Operation Control Center personnel. The heat signatures facilitate quick identification of targets and replicate real-world heat signatures of vehicles and personnel. The four cameras on the range can be either FLIR or COLOR to provide observation of the training events. Two of the cameras are at the baseline and two are midpoint downrange. Each is controlled by the OIC in the Range Operations Control Center for video insertion into the AAR. They will focus on the targets in a preset mode for each step of the training event. As each step is activated, the camera will automatically find the next target to be engaged. Target exposure times can be tailored to training scenarios. Each unit training at Wilcox has their scenario and commander's intent reviewed and edited, if needed, by the range operations staff to maximize your training event. Then the tables are built accordingly and the unit's information is put into the AAR templates. The entire scenario is activated in a practice exercise with the preset camera positions to ensure smooth operation. Any targets that do not respond are swiftly repaired or replaced. The tanks, Bradleys, Humvees, or Strikers to be used for the exercise are brought to the install pad where the instrumentation process begins. First is the battery box with the necessary cables for the global positioning system, and up to four individual cameras are placed inside the tank. One camera for the commander, one for the gunner, one with the view of the breach, and the fourth camera that will look down the gun sight in order to see what it sees. Then a microphone jack is installed to hear the commands. Multiple units can be configured this way with four vehicles broadcasting simultaneously. Once GPS and video feeds are verified, the exercise can begin. Wireless broadcast pulls the video and audio along with GPS data to the range operations center where the AAR presenter selects which of the range cameras and vehicle cameras are to be used for the AAR by simply touching the screen. The system records each step of the exercise this way. Constant monitoring and recording of each lane during the live firing exercise will ensure situational awareness and safety of all personnel. The Range Operations Center is the eyes and ears of the range.
Once the soldiers complete their run and return to the range operations center, the after action review can begin. The small AAR room is for individual crews of two to four soldiers. The theater is for larger platoon and company size AARs. In each situation, the video and audio captured for each of the tables is played back in real time for everyone's viewing and discussion. During the AAR, cameras with sound record the process for later review in order to provide a take-home package with lessons learned on DVD. After action reviews are conducted concurrently as crews rotate between AARs and the firing lanes. This enables continuous training. Other facilities of the Wilcox range include an area for the unit to bivouac with nine GP medium-sized wooden tent frames on concrete slabs, each with electric services and screening, and a covered mess facility with water, telephone, and electricity. There are two latrines, one near the tent pad area and the other near the ammunition pad. The ammunition point is an elevated dock with concrete turning pads and an ammunition breakdown building that is equipped with heat and telephone service. Throughout the range are concrete turning pads for the tanks in Bradley. There is a vehicle maintenance area with an oil water separator, a potable water point, and a heavy equipment transport pickup and drop off point. The control building houses all range equipment, a maintenance bay, the range operations center, a production room, a large multimedia equipped crew debriefing room and administration space. The versatility of the Fort Knox DMPTR provides a unique training environment for virtually any unit scenario and every type of unit. For additional information and scheduling, contact Computer Sciences Corporation Fort Knox, the DMPTR Range Manager, or Fort Knox Range Operation.